it's Lindsay and today I have a little extra bonus video to go along with the faith planner process video um, I'm gonna be working with some digital content from Illustrator faith and their printables and I wanted to show you some of the work that I do in Photoshop um, to kind of customize those files to work for what I need um, I'm by no means an expert at this I just kind of taught myself through YouTube and internet um, I've had some Photoshop classes in the past but it's been a long time so if there is an easier way to do this leave me a comment down below and let me know what it is but I'll show you what I do so I am working in Photoshop on Windows um, I have a creative cloud account that I pay for so I get access to all of the Adobe products but I think if you have a free creative cloud account you can get Photoshop for free you get to pick one program so you can pick Photoshop for free I'll link that down below um, but what I went ahead and did was purchase the new beloved society printable so I can go um, find those files and um, open them up and I'm just gonna hit control and click that way I get both of them opened up at the same time and drag them into Photoshop so here are the two files that you get when you purchase the devotional content and they each page has some of the devotional content and then each page has these elements and I like to be able to resize these or print multiples or be able to print the devotional content on cardstock and print this on sticker paper so I want to kind of show you how I do that so I've got my two files open I'm also going to open two new uh, pages. So I'm going to go to new and then I'm going to create a paper sized file, eight and a half by 11. So it's going to be one page that I print and then I'll do the same thing file new, paper, and I'll have a second page. And so that's where I'm going to move things into so that I can print it. So let's work with this page first. I'll zoom in for you. Um, very first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background in case I mess up or something doesn't go right I don't alter the original file so I'm going to come over here to the background layer right click and duplicate the layer okay and I'm going to go ahead and hide the background so I'm not going to touch this background I'm going to touch this uh, copy this is what I'm going to work on and there are a couple different ways to select items and I'll show you the two different ways you can do that uh, the easiest way is to come over here and pick up your quick selection tool. It gives you this little star. And if I just begin clicking in this little girl, it's going to start selecting things. And you can click and hold and go around and... Uh, select things this works better with images that are dark against the white background I'll show you here in a minute um, another way to do something that's not dark like this is but this has pretty defined lines it's okay if I pick up a little bit of the white for this particular file um, and so now you can see I have little marching ants oops uh, marching ants all the way around and you want to make sure that you're getting everything picked up that looks pretty good okay so then if I hit control X that's gonna cut her out now if I zoom in you can see if anything was left behind it looks pretty good and then if I come over to my first page hit control V that's gonna pop her in here and now she's her own little element that I can duplicate, resize, move around, and do whatever I want with her. So then I can go through and do that with all these different images. So coming over here, making sure I have the quick selection tool. And then I can go and I, for this, I'm just clicking inside of the compass and holding down that left mouse button and just dragging it around, picking up all the color to make sure all the color is selected. Now you could get really finicky in here and go in and make sure you don't have any white selected. Um, for this particular project, I don't care if there's a little bit of white um, picked up because it'll be clear on clear label paper and it will be white on white cardstock so I'm not worried about that so now I have this all selected I can hit control X that's going to cut it out I can see that there's no color left behind so we got a good selection go back over to this first page and then I can hit control V now you may want to go ahead and start renaming these layers so like this is blonde girl 
This is pink compass. That way, if I get a whole bunch of layers going, I can quickly switch between them and move things around. So that's how you do it for all of these that have pretty well-defined um, margins. For something like this, uh, I'll show you a second, second way to select. Um, you can come on over here and grab your lasso tool. And I'm gonna click and hold and draw a line around this element. Um, I find that this is a little more fussy. I have to be a little more careful. But for something like this, where it's a mixture of white and dark, this is just a little bit easier to fuss with. So this whole time I've held down my left mouse button, I'm gonna connect those ends, and now I have the marching ants selection. So you could zoom in and be really picky about how you go around that, but I want quick and easy. So I can hit Control X, that's gonna cut that out. Come on over to this page, Control V. We'll double click and name this large cloud. And then now I can move that around. But what you'll notice, if I layer this over something, it's got that white border. So you just want to be careful how close up you get it to something else. So I can go through and do that for all of these um, elements. And then for the devotional content, I'll use the lasso tool. That'll probably be the quickest way here. And I'm just going to loosely go around the devotional content. And since I created a copy of the original file layer, uh, this isn't doing damage to the file. So I can always open that file back up and play with it if I need to. So I have a selection around the devotional content. Control X is going to cut that out. I can go to my second blank page. Control V to paste it. And I have found that I need to rotate these to fit too. So uh, I'm going to select it. I'm going to hold down shift and come on over here till I have the little uh, turny arrow there. I can click and drag it. And by holding shift, that just makes it so that it uh, is magnetized as it turns. So it turns in increments and you can get that even uh, turn there. If I don't hold the shift, you can see I can move it freely all the way around. It's a little bit harder to get it straight. Check mark it, and this is how I want that. I can go ahead and pick up the second devotional using the lasso tool. That's a pretty big margin, but that's okay. You can see it takes a little bit of time, but this way I'm not printing, you know, a set of two pages on uh, Control X. Uh, oops, I'm working on my background, so that was a mistake on my part. So I'm going to come over here, duplicate the layer. Now I'm working on that duplicated layer, Control X. Now you can see I get those pixels. So if I click this, it's still there. Um, Control V. Um, instead of printing two pages on cardstock and two pages on clear sticker paper, I can print just one page of cardstock and one page of sticker paper. So it kind of saves on my resources there. Now I like to have the word fetty on uh, cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and select these as well. I'm going to use the lasso tool for this. I'm using the lasso tool because this light pink down here where it says my heart is not too different than the white background so that magic wand tool is going to have a hard time picking that up. So control X is going to pick that out. Control V is going to paste that in. I need to move these just a little bit. I can fit all of this on here. Okay, and then I am going to duplicate that. And then I can have two sets of Word Fetty. Squish it in there. So now I can print this on cardstock with my Word Fetty and my devotional content. I'll go through and continue um, taking out all of these pieces um, here and inserting them into that other page. And then I can print that out as well. Control X. And so 
I'll go through and do that. And then if you want to check out and see how I use these two pages, be sure to head on over and check out the Faith Planner process video for this week. Um, I will link that down below. But I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. This is just kind of how... I make it work for me. <laughs> so if you have tips, let me know down in the comments. Um, check out the link below or the description box down below for links to everything I talked about. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.